Hello Aries, welcome to another reading. We're going to be looking at the energies between you and the person you're thinking about or connecting with and what are you thinking or feeling about each other. Keep in mind that these readings are general so they cannot and will not resonate with every Aries watching and sometimes the energies can be flipped. So let's see what we have for you Aries. Just guys. Messages for Aries, please. If I could shuffle, that'd be great. What's going on between Aries and the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? What's going on between Aries and the person they're thinking about? We need to know. All right, let's see what we have for you, Aries. What's going on between you? We have the Devil and the Ace of Swords. Capricorn energy there. On your side, we have the Knight of Cups with the Seven of Swords. And on their side, we have the Emperor. There's your energy, Aries. Oh my gosh. There's a storm happening right now. Hopefully that's not too loud for you guys. <laughs> I love um, storms, so hopefully you do too and it's not too much of a distraction. So we have the Emperor and the Four of Wands on their side. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the High Priestess. Okay, so I see a few things here right away. Um, especially in the what's going on between you and this person. There's the Five of Wands behind the High Priestess. So with the High Priestess and the Ace of Swords, I think of something being revealed. Someone opening up. Whatever was secret is no longer secret because of the Ace of Swords. There's now communication, clarity, truth. Also with the Devil and the Ace of Swords, I think of cutting something out. Freedom. Liberation. There might be a truth or a communication that frees someone. This might be a revelation of someone's feelings um, that, you know, it's, it's almost like it brings something to the surface or liberates someone. Actually, let me get the energies and then I'll clarify. Can I get some insight, please? What's the overall energy spirit between Aries and this other person? What's the overall energy between Aries and this other person? What's the overall energy? Far apart, distance, separation, divide. Distance is affecting your connection. So you and this person are distant from each other or feel far from each, away from each other. There could have already been a separation here between you and this person. What else? What else do we need to know for Aries? Victory lap, so success, recognition. So I feel like even though there's a separation, a divide, I feel like there's still an opportunity for success here. Let me get a romance angel. What else do we need to know, spirit? What else do we need to know for Aries? What are the overall energies between Aries and this other person? Now, Aries, I feel there's already been some sort of conflict between you and this other person. Maybe that's what caused this divide because I have the Five of Wands here. The Seven of Swords is on your side with the Knight of Cups. So instantly I think of someone apologizing. And the Four of Wands, you know, this is a card that means many things, but it's really about a happy home, harmony, stability peace in a home so with the emperor who tends to take matters into their own hands this could be somebody that's hoping to stabilize whatever the, you know whatever issue stands between you right now we have chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here so even though you and this person are apart i feel like you still think about the other person there's still a connection here 
something that like draws you together or brings you together. Okay, so let's see what we have here when we clarify. Spirit, can we get some clarity, please? Can we get some clarity for Aries. Let's start with the High Priestess because that's the overall energy. Why is the High Priestess here? Why is the High Priestess here? We have the Empress. Wow. And the Ten of Pentacles. So this to me is like big dreams, big goals, wanting to grow, manifest abundance, wanting to have long-term stability, long-term security. There's a the King of Pentacles. Some of you might be dealing with someone that already is like um, committed to someone else. Sometimes like, I mean, well, it's, I was just going to say that the King of Pentacles, for me as a reader, the King of Pentacles tends to be in a commitment, especially with cards like the Ten of Pentacles. Four of Wands is here as well. It doesn't always mean that that's the case, but I feel like for some of you, that's definitely probably why the devil is here. There's a restriction. Let's get one more. Now, the fact that this is all with the high priestess tells me there was something hidden, unexpressed, secret, or just quiet energy here. Maybe someone didn't reveal their feelings because they were tied up with something. Or maybe this is someone's secret desire or wish. And I say someone because both of your energies are here. This is your mutual um, energy. So you and this other person. Tell me about the High Priestess. Spirit, why is the High Priestess here? Oh, I got two more. Yeah, we got the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So I feel like Knight of Swords, Ace of Swords... There's something here with a conversation, communication, and beginning something. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. The Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is about difficulty. Not giving up. Being a bit guarded. One of you is dealing with a difficult situation right now, but it's, it, this is like what you still... It's like some, some like a dream that someone holds closely. Tell me about the devil. I really hope that that's not too loud for you guys in the background. Tell me about the devil. Yeah, the moon, Pisces energy. There's something here that's off or was off. A lack of clarity because someone was not revealing something to the other person or someone was keeping this to themselves. Or something just looked like it was one way, but it wasn't that way when you really looked at it. Tell me about the devil. Pisces energy with the moon. Yeah, the five of wands is there again. I think that this is causing difficulties. There could also be a situation that's happening here where someone's having a conflict they're experiencing that the other person doesn't really know about. And if you are separated from each other, if there is a distance between you, then that's probably why you are not aware of it Aries or maybe you're the one having this conflict and this other person is not aware of the whys and hows and what's happening there's the sun another part about clarity radiance this could also be about happiness there's the high priestess again nine of cups the sun and then the high priestess you know, when I see the high priestess with like the sun, when I see the moon, you know, with the high priestess, and you know, I, I think of some like illusion, something looks good, but isn't. All that glitters is in gold. I'm also getting that this could be somebody like, while they're in the thick of it, <laughs> while they're dealing with a mess, they dream of something else, right? They can't help but wonder what if. You know, could I be happy somewhere else? Could I be happy if I do this or that?
And you know, the devil is here. So I feel like, you know, the devil's all about kind of a uh, consequences, right? Because no matter what you were in, like drawn to, whether you were drawn to something because of lust, because of desire, um, because it felt good, or because it was tempting, or if you were drawn to something because you just felt this need for it, it doesn't lead to good outcomes with the devil. That's why there's chains around these people's necks um, in the traditional tarot. So. I feel like someone might have gotten themselves into something here that now they're like, uh oh, what am I going to do? Because I don't think whoever's in this mess, it doesn't look like a mess from the outside. So maybe there's like a little bit of denial going on here or illusions or like playing a role, wearing a mask. Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Freedom, honesty, independence. These two are kind of badasses together, the Nine of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords. Um, Queen of Swords, they definitely, the Queen of Swords does not lie to themselves. So maybe someone's understanding something here with this Ace of Swords, getting some sort of clarity or admitting something to themselves or to another person, let's see. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Because there's something here about communication or truth, because we already have the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. We have the Tower, holy crap. The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this is gonna be like an unexpected reveal. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Two of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Someone's making a difficult decision to reveal something. Maybe this was someone that's, that was undecided, unsure. But the Tower with the Ace of Swords, that is like a shocking revelation. That's what those two energies together point to. For me, as a reader. Now the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles are here. They're um, cards about effort, work, dedication. So, I don't know if this is somebody that decided to make this happen, right? Like, this is part of someone's big plan, is to start with this revelation. Again, this could be you or your person, Aries. This is getting very juicy actually all right so let's jump into both of your energies now i have you on the left aries and your person on the right uh feel free to flip these energies if they resonate more for you queen of pentacles came out there okay uh yeah feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you let's start with this knight of cups this could be an apology from someone because the seven of swords is here let's see why is the Knight of Cups here for Aries spirit? The Queen of Pentacles. Okay, I got a message there. You didn't deserve this is what I'm getting. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. That was very clear. Nine of Cups. There's that wish granted energy. And the Eight of Swords. Okay, so it could be that somebody here, um, I feel like there's a little bit of fear. Yeah, there's the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This person's a little bit scared, possibly because of the conflict that you and this person already had, or the separation. I just get the sense that this is, this is someone that almost feels bad for coming forward. Like, they're like, I should not be reaching out to Aries and apologizing or telling them anything. Because, like, Aries deserves better. That's the energy I'm getting, but we'll see. And, and you know, it kind of makes sense because I think the Seven of Swords, you know, maybe this is somebody that, yeah, they're, they're fearing rejection, this person, big time. There's the Four of Cups. 
Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Oh my god, clarify by the Seven of Swords. It's like mathematically impossible. <laughs> okay. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. The Six of Cups. I feel like this person, yeah, they, they mistreated you. And I'm getting the energy here that it's like they mistreated you when you didn't deserve it. I feel like you you didn't deserve this. They held back something from you. Yeah, and that's why they're apologizing. There's the Knight of Cups and the Justice right after that. Libra energy, very clear energy there. This person's coming to apologize for something that they did in the past that was not fair to you. Tell me about the Emperor. Okay, we have the Two of Wands. Tell me about the Emperor. The Magician. Yeah, they're doing something. They're choosing a path with the Two of Wands. There's a star, Aquarius energy. And, okay, so I'm getting here the energy of... And this is not typical for an Emperor, but it's like they're hoping for the best. They have no idea how this is going to go. There's a Page of Pentacles. Some sort of offer small offer tell me about the four of wands tell me about the four of wands oh my god there's the emperor stability harmony peace there's death scorpio energy tell me about the four of wands please why is the four of wands here the Six of Swords. And there's the Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. The Four of Wands again. And the Wheel of Fortune with the King of Wands. Okay. I'm seeing a few things here. I'm sorry about the thunder in the background. Um, hopefully it's not too much of a nuisance for you guys. Um, I love it. But, you know, if it's annoying, I completely understand. Um, but I'm already on a roll here. So I'm going to keep going. Okay. So I have um, the Four of Wands here with the Emperor death and the six of swords the six of swords is all about a departure so when i see the six of swords with death i think of someone leaving a situation that has ended and this could be a situation at home this could be a situation that you know maybe it was just a situation where wherever they were that that they're away from you they could be coming towards you now um I need to clarify this magician because I keep looking at it. I don't want to know why. Tell me about the magician. Why is the magician here? Five of Pentacles. Yeah. So this person's trying to make um, something good out of a. Sh uh, I was just gonna curse. Out of a very crappy situation. Uh, that's what I'm getting here. Um, I'm getting very clear energy from this individual. It's not murky. It's not like wishy-washy. Um, this person's in a crappy situation right now, and that's why they're coming towards you. Um, I think that this could have been some shocking revelation in their own life, but it could also be that they've decided to go in a whole different direction in their life, and that involves you now. However, I get the sense that they don't really... It's like they're trying to make something happen without anything in their hand. I'm picturing someone that's empty-handed and trying to make something happen with that. That's why the star is here. I think that they're hoping for a, a good outcome, hoping for success. But and, and maybe that's why they've been working so hard with the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles that showed up down here. But they haven't been able to really... like. It's like they don't really have anything to offer right now. But this person is coming towards you. I'm going to clarify that tower as well with a whole different deck because I want to know. Or maybe I could leave that for the extended. I'll leave that for the extended because this video is already very long. Okay, tell me about Aries, the energy that Aries is bringing to this connection spirit. Tell me about Aries. What's their energy when it comes to this connection, this person? I hate the distance between us. So Aries, I think you might be um, happy to hear from this person. Despite the fact that they mistreated you in the past. Tell me about this other person. I really screwed up. Yeah. Very clear energy. Let me get a Kipper. 
And then um, I'll get one kipper for each of you, just to see what your energies are. Tell me about Aries. And Aries, um, remember you can flip these energies if they resonate more for you. And let me know in the comments if this is resonating. I love hearing from you guys. Occupation. I feel like you're focused on something, Aries. Some of you have like a small business. Um, and others of you, I'm picturing someone like studying for something. I don't know what you're studying, but good luck with that. It's like you're focused on something else. You're not really focused on this person. Even though deep down, maybe you would like to um, not be so far apart from, from them. But for some reason, when I see occupation, um, I'm picturing you like doing stuff for yourself. Like, I don't think it involves this person necessarily. Okay, tell me about the person Aries is dealing with. What about their energy? What do we need to know about their energy? Oh, I got two. Message of concern and unexpected income. Yeah, they're going to be messaging you, but they are it's like they're expecting rejection. They don't know how their apology will be received, or they don't know if their offer will be accepted. Because they really screwed up in the past. And also, with this message of concern, I'm getting like a lot of tower energy here. Like, you're not, you're, 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 um... Your reaction is one of surprise just because of the nature of the contact. So, for example, it might be a text out of the blue, right? And maybe you don't respond for some time, right? And so this other person is like a little bit like left on red and wondering, is, are they going to answer or not, right? Like they're just not sure. Let me get um, one hidden truth oracle. Tell me more about this this um, connection. And then we'll extend this and we'll look at what you can expect next. I'm going to clarify the tower and the extended as well. And then we'll look at your person's intentions. What, are we, what, what do we need to know, Spirit, about this connection? What do we need to know about this connection between Aries? I'm becoming a better person. So I, I feel like someone is improving, um, has changed, matured um, over time. Maybe the distance has helped um, because due to the, I mean, because of the distance, someone has been able to reflect. Um, I definitely feel like there's some sort of uh, unexpected message coming something is going to be revealed i don't know if this is like a message that they send you it could also be like a social media thing um an announcement you know that maybe they tell you something unexpected that for some reason they're not sure if you're going to be open to this or react well to this um so expect that from this person i think that there's going to be clarity new clarity about something that you didn't know about Aries because I feel like you as well as like the public they don't really understand what's been going on with this devil energy it has been out of the public view so you know it looked good on the outside but it's not and I think that that's what this tower is going to reveal so that's what I have for now Aries hopefully you enjoyed this reading um, hopefully the rain wasn't too annoying <laughs> Thank you so much for sticking with me throughout this reading. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. Otherwise, I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.